It's an honor and privilege to accept this award, the South of Fee Heart to Heart Grant Award. And not only am I honored to follow Dr. Coulter, THI continues to be passionate about reducing the toll of cardiovascular disease in women. And, and like Alpha Phi, we're committed to education, but we're also committed to reducing cardiovascular disease in women. We need to talk about why women aren't enrolled in clinical trials, why data aren't being discussed at the level of women versus men, why women are still dying at a younger age and more often than men from cardiovascular disease. In 2007, the National Heart Lung Blood Institute established a cardiovascular cell therapy research network to evaluate regenerative medicine in men, women, and children with heart disease. They wanted to look at stem cells. And they wanted to say, can we use stem cells as a treatment for heart disease? We convinced the National Institutes of Health to create a biobank, a place where every person who was enrolled in these clinical trials using stem cells would let us collect their blood or their bone marrow and measure the stem cells that were present in their blood or bone marrow. I have over 30,000 samples upstairs. And we've measured the stem cells in those samples over the last X number of years. And we can tell you whether there are good cells and whether they are bad cells and how they correlate with age. So we believe that we can take stem cells from your blood or your bone marrow or your fat and transplant them into your body and have them have an effect in the heart. Go to the site of injury in the heart and rebuild heart muscle. And that's what we've been working on for the last couple decades. Alpha Phi recognizes that we have a unique opportunity to look at regenerative medicine strategies in all these samples and divide them, male, female. So Alpha Phi got it. Alpha Phi said, you've got the samples, you've got the tools, we've got the support. And that's why we're here today, because we have an opportunity to say, how regenerative medicine strategies may differ in women and men with heart disease. Imagine tomorrow if we could tell you via a blood test that you or your daughter has a higher risk for heart disease or that your risk is higher or lower because certain cells are present or not present or certain genes are present or not present and that we could fix that by getting rid of the bad cells or giving you good cells. That's what you're enabling us to do today, to make those measurements and build the data set that's going to let us create that. That's heart. That's toughness. And that's Alpha Phi. And that's Texas Heart Institute. And I'm grateful. Thank you very much.